All right, so after we've taken notes on charcoal, you guys are gonna start a practice charcoal. You guys are gonna do a vase that looks like this and everybody's gonna do the same thing. Um, when we finish this, you will be able to understand how to use every single piece of charcoal that we're talking about here. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is tone the paper, but in order to do that, we need to tape it down to our whiteboard. These large whiteboards are to the left of the sink on the shelf, it's underneath the counter. So you guys can grab those. If they're dirty, just make sure that you take a damp paper towel, wipe them off, and then dry them off completely. So to put this tape on here properly, we need to make sure that we're not just guessing and laying it down. We wanna make a half inch border on here. So a half inch away from the edge, I'm gonna make a few marks. I'm gonna put three on the long side and two on the short side. So I need to make sure that when I'm taping, I'm lining my tape up to these half inch marks. Okay, and I'm gonna do that on all of my sides. If you need help finding the half inch mark, please ask for help. Now, the way that we're setting up this practice, we're gonna set up our final exactly the same way, but our final paper is gonna be 12 by 18 instead of nine by 12, so it's much larger. And then we use this blue paper for our practice because not a lot of people wanna use the blue on their final. So we're just using it as kind of scrap paper. And then the final, you guys will have a bunch of different tones to choose from, a lot of them mostly cream. Okay, so I have half inch marks measured all the way around. I'm gonna take my masking tape and I want it longer than the edge. So I want it to go over each edge. And what I do is I just press it on top of that first mark. So my first pencil mark, oops. My first pencil mark is right here. Okay, right where my fingernail is. So I wanna make sure I get that on there and then try to put it on the board as straight as you possibly can. Right now, I haven't attached it to the board yet. I'm just getting it lined up with my paper. I'm gonna make sure my paper's straight. I'm just eyeballing that and then I can press the masking tape down. Okay, and I'm gonna repeat that same process for each side. And then you wanna make sure that the tape is stuck down really well so that way charcoal doesn't get underneath it. It's gonna make a really nice border. So I'm lining it up again with each of my half inch pencil marks. And you do need more than one pencil mark because otherwise you're gonna end up with a crooked line. All right, so once we have this tape on here, we're ready for the next step, which is toning, and we're creating a medium value on the entire page. When we tone, we use the vine charcoal, okay? Vine charcoal used for toning in medium values and for drawing our contour lines. So the vine charcoal, when you're going over to the supplies, it's labeled, but the supplies are in a container that looks like this. Hopefully you guys can see this on the video, okay? The vine charcoal looks like a vine. Okay, so you guys can grab one of these. They're really, really light. Okay, this we're going to take and we're going to make sure that it's sideways. I don't wanna be drawing it like a pencil. And we're gonna fill in the paper. Now, for those of you that don't like this sound, you'll get over it, okay? All right, so we're gonna fill this in. Don't worry about making it super smooth right now. We're gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna smooth it out. Okay, I wanna make sure that I get an even layer but again, it doesn't need to be smooth, okay? So I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm gonna rub it into the surface, trying to even it out. I don't need this really dark. Again, this is a medium value. Now I have some areas that are still pretty light, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of charcoal along the edges and then tone that again. Now charcoal drawing is different from other styles of drawing just because we start with a medium value and pull out to get the white areas or the highlights and then add dark areas for the shadows instead of starting with a white surface. Even if you have a really, really light background, you still tone your paper. Now, this is very messy. It's gonna get all over your hands. It won't stain your clothes, but just try to be careful. Again, if you guys want aprons, they're on the kiln room door, okay? So now that I tone it, I'm gonna use this same vine charcoal, and I'm gonna draw my contour lines. 
I'm not super concerned about you guys having a perfect base as much as I am about you guys understanding how to use each charcoal piece. Now, the reason why we use vine charcoal is if I'm drawing something and it's completely hideous, it doesn't make any sense, then I can take my paper towel and I can push it back into the surface, okay? All right, so what we're doing now is we're just trying to get the contour lines, the outer edges and the inner details. So when I do this to make sure that it's symmetrical, I'm gonna draw a vertical line down the middle and that I want to be the middle of my base, okay? So when I draw the top, I can use my charcoal piece and I can sight it, okay? I'm looking at this measurement here compared to this one. It needs to be wider out here. So that way I can make it look symmetrical and not look so off. Okay, so then I'm gonna draw my lines in here. Now, if it doesn't look exactly like the base that we have, that's okay, you want it to look semi-similar. And again, we'll use those axis lines, this middle line right here, to make sure that everything is kind of set and where it needs to be. And I can take my paper towel and get rid of the inside lines I don't need anymore. I'm gonna look at this one. This one definitely looks off right here. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm just gonna do a couple points here. This side looks more curved, so I'm gonna curve this out a little bit more. Okay, before I start any shading, I'm gonna get rid of my middle line. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the darker area out here. We're gonna try to get the shadow. So when I look over here and I'm trying to get my darker areas, I know that the compressed charcoal I can use, it's used for dark values, but it's not going to erase easily. So I have to be careful with that. And then also the pencil charcoal, it's um, a darker charcoal used for details. So I can use this pencil charcoal, looks like a pencil. I can use that to get my outline really, really sharp because the compressed charcoal is going to be a little bit bigger. You'll see that. So you're going to use this pencil charcoal to get a sharp outline. And then the compressed charcoal is in more of a square shape. Okay, so I'm going to use this. You can see it gets really dark. I'm gonna add my shadow over here. Now I just lightly press it on the edge so I can get it to kind of start to fade into my lighter and medium values. And then we can use this blending stump, okay? It's used to blend values. Don't use your fingers. Your fingers have oils in them and once you use your fingers to blend, it's going to kind of stick it to the paper so when you're trying to erase it, it won't erase as well. Now I like this to look a little bit more smooth, so I like to blend the charcoal a little bit. And that will really get it to grip onto the paper and fill any of the gaps. Now if it looks like you're starting to almost draw with your blending stump because it's so um, filled with charcoal, this along with the erasers, we can use sandpaper. We can actually clean this by just rubbing this on here. We don't put these in the pencil sharpener. Okay, so if I need to make sure that I'm blending a lighter value, I can use this for that. All right, so now that I have my dark value in here, I have my medium. Now I need to start getting my light value. Okay, so I'm not going to use the white charcoal immediately to get the light value. I need to pull out with the rubber eraser and the pink eraser first. Everybody's gonna get one of these rubber erasers and you're gonna use this for your practice and for your final. And so you guys need to keep this in your cubby. Don't put it back into that little um, container where we're storing all of our charcoal materials. Apparently I'm having a lot of trouble opening this up. Okay. 
Okay, so this rubber eraser is going to feel a little bit like sticky tack. It's self-cleaning, so you pull on it, okay? You can shape it into any shape you want to. All right, and what I can do is I can either press it down and pull up, and that's going to pull up some of the charcoal, or I can rub it on the surface, okay? So if I know I want to open up an area here, I want to lighten this up. I'm going to stay away from the edge for right now. And you can also use this like a blender. So I'm just really lightly touching it over that medium so that way the two values kind of go together. Okay, now when I start to see that I have charcoal all over this, this is what I mean by self-cleaning. You're just going to pull and this will clean itself for both projects, but by the end of the final project you're probably not going to be able to use this anymore. Okay, so what it does is it takes those charcoal particles and it just mixes it into the eraser and spreads it out. Okay, the other eraser that you can use is the pink eraser. Now it's covered with charcoal. So again, we're going to take our little piece of sandpaper and I'm going to clean that off a little bit. Okay. Now I can use this for my edges because it's a little bit sharper and I can press harder with it than I can with the rubber eraser. Now I have a weird line, so I need to make sure that I blend that into my other highlight and I can go back in with the rubber eraser and try to help blend that. Okay. In the final, you're going to work the same area here. You're going to put dark here, light here, and then in the background, we need the background as well. So I'm going to go back to my vine charcoal because I'm drawing a contour line. Okay. We have a shadow on this side, so I'm going to mark off where my shadow is. And I can either use the medium or the light. Now, when we're looking at the background, if your object is dark, you're going to want your background light. If your object is light, you're going to want your background dark. So that way it can pop out. So if I'm using my vine charcoal or compressed charcoal, I can do that on this side. You're going to probably need to go back and forth. For example, if I accidentally go too far into this object, I can take my eraser and I can erase that highlight back in there. Okay. Again, I'm going to take my paper towel. That makes it pretty light, so I'll probably use some compressed charcoal, but I want to blend it onto this side. So I'm adding some of my compressed charcoal. This stuff doesn't erase, so you have to make sure you have it exactly where you want it. Okay, and then on this side, I need to use my sharp eraser, making sure I'm getting a nice, nice edge over here. Now you'll notice that this charcoal is going to continually rub off of this page and you would be able to smear it. For this practice one, we're not going to do a spray fixative. But for the final, I will do, or uh, Miss Greenway will do a spray fixative on your final. And that's going to keep that charcoal from coming off of the page. So then I just want to blend this in so it's nice and smooth. Okay, so we have a dark to a light in the background. And then this looks like it's lighter over here. So I do need to lighten up.